Home is where the heart is. And the hugs. And the fresh break bread. And the homemade jam. We have our own house now. But when shit hits the fan, we still want to go back to where we spent the majority of our lives with people who knew us before triathlon, sports, or even talking. For Paula, that's Edmonton, and for me, it's a little town outside of Portland, Oregon. Stalin's on the high line On the morning rush Time is passing through a scene Lost my touch Seems to me I lost my way Left a long, long time Now I'm afraid I have to see kind of When Paula realized she'd be bored while I was training for Xterra Worlds, she decided to sign up for Augusta 70.3 the same weekend to keep me company and have something to do while I was in Italy. Now, with me being injured and unable to race or even join her for sessions, heading to Portland for a change of scenery and training stimulus was a welcome idea. What's the vibe right now? Low. Tired. Tired, unmotivated, low vibe. And like, don't know why I'm doing this. You know, that kind of vibe. I thought we were doing it for the, a prey. We're doing it for the breakfast burritos. Right? We're doing it for the breakfast burritos. I just really hope this island is not that busy. It's my only hope. I don't think it'll be too bad. I would, uh, I'm glad we're doing it now and not at 2 p.m. So you think I should just stick on the back side? So you just gonna sit in the van for a bit? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you out there. I got nothing in my pocket I'm a nobody but you can't stop it I got music so I rock it I got nothing but I'm something Nothing in my pocket I'm a nobody but you can't stop it I got music so I rock it I got nothing but I'm something I got nothing but I'm something I got nothing but I'm something Yeah, that's why they're like 30 pounds. Saw dudes. And 
that is all she wrote. With my inner moody artisticness at an all-time high, I watched as Paula finished up her final taper sessions back in Bend and packed to head to Augusta 70.3. At the time, I had no idea what I was going to do while she was gone, but staying around the house sounded pretty terrible. And getting out in the van sounded great. I've always done my best thinking, staring out the windshield, not able to look at my phone, no external stimulus, just pure creativity when it comes to videos, the business, life. And I felt like by the time she was back, my knee might be well enough that I could run and ride and I'd have everything figured out. I'm not the only